In a previous video, we have looked at digital controller design by emulation, where we design a continuous controller to control the continuous plant, and we then discretize the controller. There are several discretization methods available, each with its own approximations. We have previously looked at two discretization methods, impulse invariant and step invariant discretization. In this video, we look at a number of discretization methods based on numerical integration. To recap, the discretization task is finding a discrete controller such that the combination of the sampler, the controller and zero order hold circuit behaves similarly to the designed continuous controller. The discretization methods for this video are based on numerical integration techniques. The basic idea is the following. We will convert the continuous transfer function to a differential equation and then approximate the differential equation with a difference equation using numerical integration. We will then convert the difference equation to a discrete transfer function. The difference equation takes the sampled input signal as input and we assume that the output of the difference equation is held constant over a sampling period. In other words, the output is passed through a zero order hold circuit. We will consider two simple integration rules, rectangular rules and the trapezoid rule. Let's quickly look at the idea behind each of the integration rules. There are two variations of the rectangular rule, the forward rectangular rule, also known as Euler's rule, and the backward rectangular rule. For the forward rectangular rule, the function x over this interval is approximated by the value of function x at the start of the interval. The integral of function x over the interval is then approximated by the value of x at the start of the interval times the length of the interval. We can mathematically write down this approximation as the integral of function x over the interval which we approximate by the value of function x at the start of the interval times the length of the interval. For the backward rectangular rule, the function x over the interval is approximated by the value of function x at the end of the interval. The integral can then be approximated by the value of function x at the end of the interval times the length of the interval. The trapezoid rule is slightly more sophisticated. The function x over the interval is approximated by the straight line between x at the start of the interval and x at the end of the interval. The integral can then be approximated as the length of the interval divided by 2 times x at the start of the interval plus x at the end of the interval. We will now use these numerical integration rules to approximate differential equations by difference equations. Let's first look at discretization with the forward rectangular rule. We will develop the discretization for an example and then simply state the general case. Suppose the transfer function of the design continuous controller is given by 1 over s plus a, which is also the Laplace transform of the plant input signal over the Laplace transform of the error signal. We now multiply across and get this equation after which we apply the inverse Laplace transform to find this differential equation. We want to approximate the differential equation with a difference equation. To do this we integrate this equation over one sampling period from k minus 1 times t to kt. The left hand side reduces to u at the end of the interval minus u at the start of the interval and we now use the forward rectangular rule to approximate the integral over the right hand side as the integrant at the start of the interval times the length of the interval. It is now written as a difference equation so we apply the z-transform 
and after some manipulation we get the transfer function of the discrete controller. When we compare the continuous controller with the discrete controller it is clear that we have replaced s with z minus 1 over t. The general case will work the same way and we therefore discretize the designed controller by taking the continuous controller and replacing s with z minus 1 over t. The forward rectangular rule therefore defines a mapping from s to z given by s equal to z minus 1 over t. Let's step through the same example using the backward rectangular rule. The designed continuous controller transfer function is converted to a differential equation, integrated over one sampling period, and the integral approximated by the backward rectangular rule. After applying the z-transform and some manipulation, we obtain the discrete controller transfer function where we have essentially replaced s with z minus 1 over tz. The backward rectangular rule therefore defines a mapping from s to z given by s equal to z minus 1 over tz. In the general case we calculate the discrete controller by taking the designed continuous controller and replacing s with z minus 1 over tz. We lastly look at discretization with the trapezoid rule. This is also called by linear transform or Tustin's method. For our example controller, the continuous transfer function is again converted to a differential equation and we then integrate over one sampling period. We now use the trapezoid rule to approximate the integral, which gives us a difference equation. And after applying the z-transform, and some manipulation, we obtain the transfer function for the discrete controller. Here we have replaced s with 2 over t times z minus 1 over z plus 1. And the bilinear transform therefore defines a mapping from s to z given by this equation. In the general case, we find the discrete controller by taking the designed continuous controller and replacing s with 2 over t times z minus 1 over z plus 1. The discretization methods using the forward rectangular rule, backward rectangular rule and bilinear transform each defines a mapping from s to z. We will look at the properties of these mappings at a later stage.